Now, Takapuna Normal Intermediate is going to be the first of 50 New Zealand schools to be uh, gifted a portrait of the Queen to mark the upcoming royal tour. Brooke Dobson's in Takapuna. The portrait in your hands. Tell us about this. Why they're getting it, Brooke? And, uh, and uh, you, you told us a little earlier this is a unique portrait. It is. This is specifically the Queen of New Zealand. So we will explain very shortly what she is wearing. It is specific to our country, but 600 students this morning at Takapuna Normal Intermediate School, they will get the first of it presented to them by Monarchy New Zealand. Uh, we've got local MP Maggie Barry who's going to be doing the honours this morning. She's going to be welcomed on with a porphyry. It's going to be quite exciting, especially with the Royal Tour. Uh, how great is it that school kids are getting involved? It's really fantastic. You know, who would have thought that so many young people would be interested in the, the visit? that's coming up of course a week today as you said but also in knowing more about the Queen of New Zealand and I think it's a wonderful opportunity and Monarchy New Zealand are to be commended for taking the opportunity to really celebrate the fact that the monarchy have been an important traditional role in our New Zealand constitution and continue to be so so they're very excited about it and that's very cool and we really want to quickly see what is she wearing. So this is specific to New Zealand. Well, we love the, the fern, of course, because that was given to the Queen uh, when she first came to New Zealand uh, in 1953. So that's from the uh, city of Auckland. And then we've got the Order of New Zealand, uh, the Queen's Service uh, Award, and the uh, Award of New Zealand as well. So she's wearing all of the uh, insignia and the honours of New Zealand that she would if she were opening our parliament. So it's a portrait taken especially for us. And I reckon that frock looks familiar. I think it might have been the one that she used helicoptering out of a plane uh, for the beginning of the uh, Olympics in London. I haven't had that confirmed at official level, uh, but it does look a bit to me the same frock, so adds another little dimension, I think. Good morning, kids. Uh, are you excited about the Royals coming to New Zealand? Yeah! Well, the assembly has already started, so we've been holding them back. Uh, hopefully you don't get in trouble. This is what you're about to be presented with, the official portrait of the Queen as the Queen of New Zealand. And we are wanting to know, well, do you guys have a Queen portrait already? No, this is our first one. All right, and are you excited about uh, Prince George or Baby George coming along as well? Yes, he's so cute and so excited. So you guys are the first of 50 schools around the country to be presented with one of these uh, at the Assembly this morning. Um, we might actually have to get you going. Get to school now. Go, 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 go. OK, good. All right. <laughs> and we'll bring in Richard uh, Boucher from Monarchy NZ. Can you just tell me, we were talking before, uh, Rawdon is wondering, why do we have a portrait of the Queen being presented rather than uh, Prince William and Kate? Uh, his time will come. Obviously, the Queen is the Queen of New Zealand. It's quite common for heads of state to be portrayed in schools and other places of public importance. Uh, as you know, as we know, they're on a, here on an official visit, and as uh, Wills and Kate take on more and more official responsibilities, and as he becomes king, he'll have a portrait just like this, but possibly not in that tiara. Okay. Or, yeah, I think he might not look as good as, in the tiara as the Queen does. But it's a really lovely day um, and the kids are very excited about it to be getting this portrait and we're welcoming the Royals very shortly.